Hello everybody, uh, this is Jim Hall at TPIS. Um, wanted to go through how to install a TPIS custom prom in uh, GM prom-based ECUs, which is typically 85 to 93 uh, TPI, LT1, and some TBI stuff that I'll show you. Um, when you receive your prom from us, it should come in an anti-static bag like this. You'll pull it out of the bag, and it's on this memory adapter with instructions, which ironically we're showing you how to do it anyways, but some people like a video rather than printed instructions. Um, so take a look at those if you want. Otherwise, we'll show you everything here in the video. So uh, the first DC we're going to start with is this would be like a 86 to 1989 uh, Camaro Firebird Corvette TPI computer, ECU. Um, this is what a factory memcal or prom chip looks like, and it is installed like this. So you're going to pull it down from under the dash um, on the 86 to 89 Camaros and Firebirds. This is up under the dash, kind of behind where the glove box would normally be and um, you'll have to pull down the kick panel to pull this out. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench and a seven millimeter socket. Corvette is basically the same, and that goes for uh, 85 to 91. So you'll take off a cover that's here, um, and you'll see the, the computer, the prom or memcal in there, whatever you wanna call it. You push these tabs down, and this will push up the factory prom. And you can simply remove it. Um, some years of computers are a little bit different inside where they have transistors in different places and microprocessors and things like that. So um, you may find it easier to take this blue cover off, and I'll do that just so you know how to do it. It's pretty easy. You just need a pick or a small screwdriver. Um, or you can use a butter knife, but don't tell your wife. So this is what... It looks like with the cover off, um, there are different looking proms depending on the year. Yours may not have the circuit board, but I'm just using this in a, as an example. So um, this, when you look at your memory adapter that you get from us, this is the actual chip. And, you know, it says TPIS, the date it was made, your last name. And then it says SA, that means saved as. And then this is the file name. So if you have a question or we have an issue that we need to work through or uh, trying to help you over the phone, I can, you know, ask you, what is the SA on the chip? And then I can look in my database so I can just pull that program up. I don't necessarily have to have you send me your chip back so I can read it. So, um, so when you're installing this memory adapter, um, you're going to line up these gold prongs with the end holes in this in your factory prom, and that's going to slide together just like that. You'll probably hear it snap a little bit like that. So when you put it together, you want to make sure this is the factory chip here. This has all the information, just like a, a hard drive in your personal computer at home. This is what all the information is on for the engine specifically. So by plugging in our memory adapter with this chip, you're bypassing this one. And then these are your limp home mode chips in here. And this particular chip, this is the ESC board for your spark control. So anyways, um, it's very, very important that you line these two up, that you don't have this over here or whatever other combination you can think of. So otherwise you'll put it in the car, the car won't start, check engine light will be on and, um, you won't be getting anywhere. So we're gonna just tuck this in here like that. You gotta wiggle it around a little bit sometimes. Make sure that the adapter is lined up in the in the socket appropriately and just push down on it. You'll see those tabs come up and um, that is basically it. Uh, I do recommend um, when you're all done and the car is running and all that, putting this cover back on um, it just helps to keep, you know, if you got any other small sockets or tools uh, under the dash that you're working with, we don't want them falling in there and having a short circuit or anything on the circuit board. So um, 
that's 86 to 89 TPI. 1985 TPI is a one-year-only computer, and that requires you to send me your computer so I can solder in a different chip socket, so I don't have a, a video for that. So next we're going to move to, uh, this would be a 90 to 93 style Corvette computer. Um, 90 to 91 is... Uh, Still TPI, 92 to 93 is LT1, but the computers look identical from the outside. The chip socket's the same and everything. So um, you can see this heat sink bar here. Um, sometimes that can get in the way if you have your blue cover on your factory memcal. So I, I just take the cover off. You can throw it in the glove box or just keep it somewhere where you don't forget where it is. Um, so it's the same deal. You uh, remove the factory prom out, and this is what, we use the same memory adapter for all these ECUs, so it's a very straightforward uh, install. So you just snap this on, make sure that the two uh, chips are on the same end, and you just kind of roll it in there, push it down, and then those tabs come up. If you need to take it out, uh, the tabs are an easy way, make it really easy to get it out. You just push them down, and it lifts it right up, and you can pull them out. So... That's uh, 90 to 92 uh, Corvette. And then um, now I will show you the 90 to 92 computer found in a Camaro Firebird, um, also known as the 7730 uh, ECU. Um, same deal. It's all standard GM, Chevrolet, Pontiac stuff. You're going to take this cover off. Um, and it's going to be installed like this. Push the tabs down. Take this off. We're going to just take this blue cover off anyways. You, whether, there's no real reason to have it on there. Um, it doesn't protect it from anything. And there's nothing that's going to harm it inside the ECU with it off. So uh, plug it in again with the chips on the same side. These are a little bit tighter inside because the case is smaller. But you just... Uh, Work it in there, make sure the tabs, you can see here, the end of the chip socket is lined up with the memory adapter, and just push it down into place, and these tabs come up. So that's uh, 90 to 92 Camaro Firebird. Also, um, if you're one of the customers we do tuning work for on the Typhoons or Cyclones, it's the same looking ECU. So next... Uh, this ECU would be found in a 93 to 95 uh, Chevy truck, typically with throttle body injection. Um, these are a piece of cake because they got a ton of opening on them. You take the cover off um, and then this, like I've shown before, comes in here. You just pop these out, these tabs, it pushes the, the memcal out. Um, and again, we'll just try putting this in without taking the blue cover off. And it should go in. It's just easier to do it without it, especially if you haven't done it before. So you just push that in and that's what you need to do. Uh, once you get your prom installed, um, you know, you don't necessarily have to put it up, put the computer back up under the dash right away. You can make sure everything's working properly. Um, I always, when I make you... A custom prom for your car I always do it with the base timing from the factory in mind which on a TPI a car would be six degrees TBI are typically zero um, and then a, a fuel pressure rating on the TPI cars right around 42 to 44 pounds and that's always with the engine running and the vacuum line off the regulator uh, TBI is typically you know in the mid teen numbers 12 to 15 PSI unless you have an adjustable regulator. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope the video helped. Thank you.